<laughs> it's tricky doing this on a trailer, but I don't really want to take her off at this point. I just when I take her off, we're going in the water. Yeah. So what would you say you're most looking forward to about this journey? Uh, boy, getting back on the Mighty Mo. Uh, well, and seeing her float because she's going to be a champ. And uh, it's been a long time coming for this canoe. It's been over two years on and off that I've been working on her in, what, three different states, uh, Illinois, Missouri, and Texas. So, so it's been a long, hard journey for this canoe. and. And she's showing it right here even. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> and uh, but she's it's gonna be on her because I'm like I said, I could use a grinder and get all this stuff off, but I'm I just can't get into that right now and still get the coats on that I want. Yeah. Uh, I wanna have at least a full day of drying. So I mean I'm pushing, I may be looking at Friday right now, but yeah. we're we're shooting for Thursday, so and is this gonna be the maiden voyage of this canoe? It certainly is, yeah. And, uh, you know, this wonderful canoe, Naughty here, Naughty like a tree knot. This is Harmony, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, yeah, Naughty, Naughty's done the whole river, so she, she's been talking to her the whole time and, and uh, cluing her in on what's coming. But, uh, what's going to be the most difficult part of this trip, do you think? Getting off the river. I, I probably won't want to. <laughs> I might go to New Orleans. I, I, I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it really depends how things are going, and I've got a lot to work out logistically. I mean, I'm going to leave my rig here, and uh, I either got to get somebody to drive it down and pick me up, or I got to get back up here, which is more likely, and pick it up and bring it back and get my canoe. And, uh, yeah, logistics when you do long journeys are really interesting. <laughs> yeah. um, but I'm not even worried about that. All I want to do is get on the water and kind of relax for a while. It's been a long, hot summer down in Texas, and I just got here yesterday, and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the water. Yeah. yeah. So. How do you hope that when you think about William Clark, how do you hope to uh, preserve his legacy? Well, I did what I could during the bicentennial and traveling the trail for two and a half years to honor him from St. Louis to the ocean and back, paddling trees, riding horses. I was on the keel boat from St. Charles all the way up to Washburn, North Dakota for six months, the first six months. And that was absolutely amazing. And Glenn Bishop made that boat and I never got to meet him. He passed away before the journey. You know, I met with the tribes as we went, you know, and you know, I saw the river wide, eyes wide open for the first time, much like William did, so I, I felt really neat about that. And it was a very spiritual journey for me. Uh, he actually came to me on the trail three times. Uh, the first time near Omaha, uh, while we were at Boyer's Chute, and we, and we went up, well, we went up to Spirit Mound and had a big ceremony, and uh, the tribe was singing, and, and we were all you know, parading kind of with them, and we, but we, we were, there just in our blues and all and they were, they were singing this prayer and a wind came up and just shot through me and I and I just hit the hit my knees crying like just I, out of the blue I had no idea what just happened I had a rush come through my body and 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 my buddy's like what's up and I'm like I, well, William's here I'm like I knew it I knew it right away that had that was it and it was I mean, I'm getting teary eyed thinking about it because that was the first time and uh, and it always happened with tribes uh, tribes there uh, it happened at uh, uh, twice on the Yellowstone River actually uh, with uh, with my York uh, uh, <laughs> he uh, he was a, a Lakota Sioux but African American uh, his name was Smokey and just an amazing guy he's an old rodeo clown too so he's a great horseman and he rode horses with me and uh and also paddled down the missouri you know, from up in montana and uh and he was there uh twice when william came to me and once at poppy's pillar and once before we even got on the yellowstone and uh, long stories there so <laughs> but it was just amazing and and uh and in all honesty his, his our connection 
uh, without getting too deep into the story, uh, my connection with Smokey was uh, absolutely amazing, and I kind of helped him through something that I needed to help him through, and it was my way of freeing York, and that's really what it was all about. And, and William, he he, I don't think he sat well with the way things finished with him in York. And, uh, and I needed to set York free once and for all, and, and I did, and it was, it was uh, it's a long story, and it's kind of personal, and, and that's between me and Smokey, really, but, um, and the guys on the expedition, but it was very, very important that, uh, that we had that contact, and that I was able to do that for him, and when I got to the arch, he was there, he wasn't with us at that point, and, but he was there waiting for us. And he's like, he's like, you did it, man. I'm free. You know? I'm like, and it was, it was, uh, yeah, I, it, it, yeah, I don't want to get into the details. That wouldn't be right. W would you say that that's what you're most proud of in all your journeys? Yes. Uh, yes. And I, it was life changing, you know, and I, I mean, what I love about these canoes now, wherever I carve them, and I, I, I'm the only carver that I know that travels the country carving these things. And, but I try and make it public. You know, and uh, the the kids learn a lot from them. There are so many lessons. You know, uh, the biggest one is patience, because it takes so long to make these. It's, uh, it takes uh, the minimum was three and a half months for Naughty, and I don't think I've done one quicker since. And uh, that's with or without help. You know, and this one, like I said, been over two years. You know, just because of the way it's all worked out. You know, and uh, I'm averaging about one a year, I think. Nice. <laughs> you know, not bad. So. Um, I mean, but however, when I took Naughty down the river in 2015, solo for six and a half months, that was life changing in its own right. I mean, I, I uh, and I, I tell you what, any anybody that paddles these big rivers solo understands it, uh, when you spend that much time out there alone, you do what you do the work, as they say, of self reflection. You, you can't get away from it. You're, you're there with yourself. You got to deal with yourself, you know. And it's a learning experience, and it's the hardest thing you'll ever do. I will tell you that right now. But it's the best thing you can ever do too. You come out on the other side of it stronger. You know yourself better. You can, you know, you can, you forgive yourself for what you've done wrong, and you know, and, and make, you know, do whatever you feel you need to, to to patch things up. If you, you know, got people you need to talk to, and I've done that. But, uh, but, but really, the most important thing is where you go from there and, and just being conscious of, you know, what you do, what you say. And, and you know, we all, we all, you know, make mistakes along the way. And it's just owning up to it that's hard. And that's why people don't do the work, as they say. And I, you know, I thought 2020 was an excellent time to do it. I told everybody, if you're going to lock yourselves in your homes, whoever does that, you know, now's the time. You know, you're there with yourself, do the work. And, it, and make 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 this thing good for you. This will be good for you, you know. And I know a few people who did, and it, it's changed their lives. So I, that was huge. I wish more people would. <laughs> I, God knows everybody needs to. I think. And uh, and you know, again, it, you got to be brave, and you got you know, it, you got to go through some stuff to to uh, to get to where you want to be. But it's it's a wonderful when you're done. All the long distance paddlers, we have a bond like that because we've all done it. You know, you come out just like I say, stronger and a, a better person. You know? yeah. uh, is there anything else you want to say about your upcoming journey? Well, I look forward to seeing my friends downriver. Uh, I get teary-eyed real quick, um, but it's been a long time, uh, and uh, I know a lot of people between here and, and the arch, and I look forward to seeing them. And uh, it's totally improvised, but I think they know I'm out there. And they'll, it, the River Telegraph has a way of, you know, uh, news travels fast on the river, and, uh, and they'll know I'm out there. So, and uh, the only other thing I would say is canoe, canoe. <laughs>